I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them laced If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them laced If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase That's the way I said I'ma do it, I'ma get it anyways All I do is work, I got this money on my brain I don't like to talk, I just got way too much to say They been tryna get me, I'ma get them out of way I said I'ma do it, I'ma go and get a bag We got in a whip, then I went and hit the dash I been thanking God for this life that I done had I don't need a pen, dog, I only need a fax What's real, dog? Sitting still, dog? They in they feels, dog? I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them laced If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them laced If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them laced If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase That's the way I said I'ma do it, I'ma get it anyways All I do is work, I got this money I'ma get them out of way I said I'ma do it I'ma go and get a bag We got in a whip Then I went and hit the dash I've been thinking God For this life that I done had I don't need a plan Dog, I only need a fax What's real, dog? Sitting still, dog They in they feels, dog I got these bills, dog Need a meal, dog If they wanting less It's no deal, dog I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them laced If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them laced If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase That's the way I said I'ma do it, I'ma get it anyways All I do is work, I got this money Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? Hey, what's up? What's going on? What's good? We back with another Sold Out, man, the Sold Out podcast. I'm Jeremy Jones, man. Y'all know what's up, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button, man. We definitely about to talk. Just, you know, some general sneaker talk today, man. But um, I'm Jeremy Jones. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm going to let my homie go ahead and introduce himself. Uh, Yeah, you guys already know who I am. I'm Dev Dunks. Uh, Yeah, let's just go get started on the topic, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe.
Most definitely, man. So for the topic today, we're talking the Yeezy 350 Compacts, the um, red joints that's coming out tomorrow. Kind of threw me off guard, no cap, man. But uh, we're going to talk those. And I don't know if you guys seen it just yet, but there's like a new Bel Air Jordan 1 that I've seen. I'm going to show. I got a little video piece. Even if you try to search this, it's going to be hard to find, man. So um, let's say what's up to the few people in the chat real quick. Y'all feel free to type off in the chat, man, because me and Devin Dunks, we watch it all, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, most definitely. We got Kwame in the building. He says, what's up? Y'all know I said, what's up, Kwame? Um, he said, just chilling today, man. No luck on the draw today. Um, oh, for the Jordan ones? The Marinas, Dang, right? Man. Yeah, the Marina got, joints. You remember, I uh, showed you yesterday I got the early access, you know? But, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't go for them, man. You know, it's just not something that... Uh, just because you get it, though, if yeah. you, I guarantee if you was to go into reservations, that's probably stuff probably already linked out. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, it don't take no time. Um, We got 310 Kicks. It says, what up, dudes? What's good? Hey, what's going on, bro? I mean, we got Kwame. I need some better prices of those red Yeezys, but I'll probably enter the draw. Most definitely, man. Most definitely. Um, I mean, I let me see if I can pull up the um. That's a bold market. shoe. <laughs> yeah, I, but the thing is, I love red, though. Well, red, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, of course, of course. But... I don't know about this compact design of the 350 V2, man. That's just kind of what um throws me off about them is yeah. like, yeah, like I don't know. It's it's different, you know. And um I, I guess if it's like I guess they're thinking um if they're thinking you if you like the 350 V2s, then you'll like this compact version. But I'm also thinking they looking at it from like you can look at it. It's a good travel shoe where you know if you want to pack several shoes, but you know shoes take up so, a lot of space. So by compact, yeah. so by compact, do they mean that uh, they made them smaller? Uh, they made them lighter, less material. I think you know, it's a, it's, that's a very broad. Uh, I'm statement. gonna put it up on the screen, but it yeah. literally looks like a sock. You know what I'm saying? Let me um. um share the screen but yeah it looks just like a stock a sock but let's see get this joint up yeah it looks just like a sock there it is right there okay you know what i'm saying and see this is like the regular down here this is a regular 350 v2 yeah, yeah you but can see, see they this. took the uh the pull tab off the back uh that well that that's kind of that's nah, still there it's just like in sock form it looks more like a to be honest i think that's what's making this compact versus the other shoe although the other shoe is really almost nothing really too tough in the first place but this yeah. is more it looks just like a sock with a sole kind of gives me what the then balenciagas do some stuff like this yeah okay yeah mm, i guess you that yeah um Kwame said I need some better picks of those Yeezys probably ending the draw. Yeah, that, that's what killed me is like I had heard they were releasing, then they didn't drop the draw and put it up on um Yeezy supply until today. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. They they did, I knew about them. And to be honest, this gives me Valentine's Day vibes. So I was like, I feel like this should have dropped like on a um like before Valentine's Day or like, like maybe that Sunday. one Valentine's Day. That Sunday yeah. or that Monday, yeah, that would have uh, that would have been they good. Drop, they dropped they Yeezys on Monday. Yeah. They've done that before. Mm -hmm. Um, retail on them is yeah, they don't have a retail price on here. I look them up on the site, but yeah, resale on these average about three hundred some dollars right now. Not too bad because yeah. I'm pretty sure they're like two something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not too bad. Most yeah. definitely. We got um. Robocop Funk in the building says, tried to grab a pair of the Jordan ones for my friend, but no luck. Ended up grabbing the Jumbo Blazer Lows for myself. Nice. 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 Hey, a win's a win. Yeah, at least you got some, but I know, I like I said, man, those Jordan, I'm I'm not surprised they sold out because they Jordan ones, the Jordan one marinas, but it's just yeah. the fact, like, like I said, if you, honestly, if you've been in the game for a while, if you got the Royals, you most likely good. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, hey, I mean, it's not, not the uh, board of governors, but hey. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, we're going to talk about those. We definitely going to talk about those. You have pointed those to me, too. Um, Same person. I think Callie got that joint. I'm going to see if I can find it. I think that's who you showed me to, but retail yeah. 230 is what Kwame said. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. So, I mean, almost $100 over extra if you really absolutely positively have to have them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but um, 
Yeah, these compact joints is just something different to the game, and I don't really know how I feel about them. I've watched a couple reviews, and to be honest, you, it, I'm going to say this. Like, some people have said it best. Like, sometimes it seems like, you know, the Yeezys is kind of – you get it. It'd be almost like a phase for a little bit, for except for the diehard people. So there's something different, you know, yeah. and – um. It's just, I don't know, and I think it's got the Infinity laces on there. That's another thing, which those are the laces where if you want to swap them out, you got to cut them because it's literally just a pull tab. And it's like, dog, I'm uh, a, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm a grown-up. I can tie my own shoe if I need to. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. need you to give me, you know what I'm saying, the rules yeah. of what to do with my shoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. God, Kwame says, the Marina would have been a good shoe to wear out. Most definitely. Like I said, if you don't, uh, oh, you mean like as a make it like a beater? I mean, yeah. either way, either way, I guess. I mean, either way he worded it is not a bad, you know. I don't think that it would be a bad way to go out, you know. Yeah, most definitely. Um, it's just like I said, man. If I didn't have the Royals and I would have to have those, and I know because I went out in my video, I said that like they're like um they're like the reverse Royals, but really I see what people are saying. It's different blues. Yeah, I get it. Slightly different blues, but. You can see where they're going with it is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got Kwame again. He said, I meant like a beater. I'd skate him. Okay. That's yeah. right. I oh, forgot. Yeah. He, um, yeah, he the skater, dude. Like, you no, know, I used to skate too. Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah. you know, we both did, actually. Me and Devin mm -hmm. Dunks were big into yeah. skating. But um, that's kind of one of the ways we had got connected. But, yeah, Jordan 1, that could be, yeah, I get what he's saying. Like I said, it's not a bad shoe, not a beater. Like, that's what I think, too. I be thinking like sometimes I don't even see the point. If you get too many, once your collection grows, like you'd be like, dang man, I don't, you know, I, I could use it for a beater, but then again, like sometimes you you don't because you got so many to get in rotation, it's really kind of hard to mess them up unless you just truly absolutely don't care. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just depends on what you want to do. But overall, these for me, I just feel like they should have dropped them slightly earlier. Um, not bad, but at the same time, too, it's not one of those. It's not a good safe shoe, too. Like, you can do stuff with it, but, I mean, don't be trying to – I would I would pray hoping nothing falls on your foot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't do anything strenuous in these, like, you know, use it for – Right, but, I, but I've seen <laughs> some people – I've seen some people want to – um, they want to work out in them. Yeah, yeah I'm saying, but I mean, it, I, I, you know, I don't think it's a bad workout shoe, though. So, you know, yeah, it's not, with yeah. it. don't let no weights fall on your toes. Yeah, or anything, really. Kwame says, some shoes I want to keep clean, so I don't give a fuck. Okay. I mean, me, I always try to keep all my joints clean, but it gets to the point where I will, with certain exceptions to this rule, uh, I really don't care because I'm like, my eyes are clean in worst case scenario, but like, I ain't finna wear. I know what shoes I'm not finna wear in the rain, and I know what shoes I'm not finna wear if I'm saying like being in the grassy area. But if I know I'm gonna be on cement, like worst case scenario, I just need to try to avoid, you know, stepping in some gum or something because that irks my nerve too. Yeah, because it's really hard to get out. But um, let's talk these uh Bel Airs, man. And we can we're gonna talk to Eminem. I want to talk to Eminem's too, like uh the Eminem threes. My bad, let's go there. I know I didn't put that in the title, but the Eminem threes for like the uh that we saw at the Super Bowl. What's your thoughts on it, man? Uh they look like fire reds or cardinals, just with the uh big E on the tongue and with the hello, my name is Eminem on the back. I mean I gotta see if I can pull this up, man. I gotta really change. It's just the fire red with his stuff on it. But they're gonna go crazy, and the price is gonna go up to twenty thousand dollars. Cause Eminem's name, right? Yeah. See, I mean, look at that. What is that? Um. I mean, it's a nice shoe, but I say it's the same shoe we've seen. Yeah. I it I guess it would have been better if we would have saw these first. And then they did the fire reds and would have been like, and, I, and honestly, I don't think that we will see that shoe because it's clearly it's how many, how limited, limited, how limited you think it is. Uh, because you, you can't even pull it up from stock, probably X. one of, yeah, I'm saying probably just that one of one, yeah. Like, I can't even put, I tried searching it on stock X just to get a rough estimate, it ain't mm -hmm. loaded up yet. So, that means yeah, I mean, it's, it's only, different, it's a different when Eminem does a collab with Jordan. 
But when Jordan does a shoe for Eminem, is you know, is is it's kind of a different, you know. So you think she just made specifically for Eminem? Yeah. I give you that. Um, Vizalai of twenty years ago says, "LOL." Then we got um, Kwame says, "No See, way those yeah. for sale to anyone else." In my opinion, yeah. This is true. I feel like it's something he wanted, though. It seemed like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he wanted them, but they, like, he want to put his own little twist on it. I think that's what this basically came about. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what, he if just give it a, a, what he give it an icy soul and the Slim Shady and the E? I mean, yeah, he just gave it the E. And to be honest, what I meant in my video, like, we didn't see them start messing with the tongue and stuff on Jordan's, like, not until we got, like, the, um... Not until like we got like a I'm my year. They let them do it, and I can't really. Think Oregon, of no, Oregon, but Oregon shoes. Yeah, they Oregon. Like yeah, that. But that's a PE. But I guess this is a PE. So I got yeah, true, true. I'll give you that one. Yeah. Um. You yeah, know, man, one, right. I'm surprised that uh, Travis didn't mess with the tongue. That's what I'm saying. I was trying you to know? think. That's why I was trying to think of the Travis mess with the tongue, but I don't think he's messed with the tongue on any of the Jordans. He sticks nah. to the back half of the heel. Yeah, he sticks to the to the centerpiece, the part he wants you to see. You know. True. So I don't think I don't think uh, Travis has messed with it just yet. So, but if you had to guess, like put a price on this shoe, because you know people are wanting it. Oh, and, twenty thousand, um, easy. I'll rip. Yeah, asking oh, price. Ask starting, price. starting. Yeah, got gotcha. you. Yeah, I mean this even surpasses Virgil, honestly. You know. Yeah, because his shoes are very rare, so I guess you're right. Like, yeah, it's, it's probably. Like I say, it's, it's it's uh, it's very very hard to say, but this shoe definitely, you know, this shoe definitely surpasses uh what Virgil did. You know. Yeah. Kwame says, I'm sure it's over 10K for sure. Yeah. I'm going to go with dunks on this one. It's got to be a strong 20. Strong And that's what I say. And you know what? They're going to get out on the market. They're going to get out there. Yeah, you know, they're going to get there. Eminem, he only wore them for the, for his maybe, what, 20-minute set, and he doesn't want them shoes. You know, he, right. after he after that, he said, these th he probably said, man, these things hurt my feet, and fucking tossed them. <laughs> and, and some luck, some lucky person picked them up and now they're gonna go on the internet you know <laughs> Yo. that's how it works yeah. right these are right feet <laughs> yeah i mean but at the same time especially of his caliber when he know he can get pretty much any shoe he want so and i mean any price he want when it sells you know but yeah say, it is true and or on the other end they may go to a charity you know they may just true. put them in a, a charity auction yeah i mean i will hope a charity like i've seen some people commenting on my videos like yo they should put these in a charity because you know they come on man it's, yeah they know again, gonna, they know for a fact they're gonna get the money off of them so yeah, why not so just make it to well a, a bit of money go to parties, a kid. you know so yeah, that's I'm, I'm assuming i'm assuming unless that just that greedy person gets them in their hand and tries to put them out there in the public that's the route they're gonna go, you know. They're probably gonna just put them up for auction, you know. Because, mm -hmm. like I say, this is a very exclusive shoe, and like I say, uh, no, no normal person like of our status would ever. Yeah, you're not gonna have, ever have that shoe. No, nah, never. Oh, never. speaking of that, I saw somebody in the video, like on my video, they commented, and there's nothing wrong with this, but I just thought like this is a good thing to add to this topic. They were like, "I'm gonna see. Hopefully, I can find some good replica maids." You know, like they want a replica pair, which there's nothing wrong with it because I know at the end of the day, yeah, re well, yeah, how it's gonna sell on the market. The average person don't want. I'm not saying they don't got it, but who wants to spend twenty thousand dollars on a shoe unless you just you ain't gonna miss it. But like, do you see them? I don't think they're gonna be able to replicate. No, this, this they're not gonna replicate this shoe because, like I say, it's a one of one shoe. It's clearly exclusively made for a specific person. You know. Like, I right, mean, why, so why would you want to uh, replicate I was trying and to, then yeah. take, the, take away from what the shoe is meant to be, you know? Yeah, and I was trying to tell them, I was like, hey, I highly, even as many, as re as much the as best, replicas the, the are best, made, the, the, the best, best one you're going to be able to tell. Yeah, the best rep, the best rep factory couldn't even get this one right. 
Yeah, I'm, there's no way they're going to get it right because this is something that obviously you just got to be in and he got them directly. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way. I know they and, these, and think about this. They maybe use this uh, special type of leather just for that shoe, you know? I ain't going to go that in depth, but they're going to have to get to, I think, to make a, a good replica pair, you got to, they got the silhouette, right? But to make sure they get it just right, you're going to have to see the shoe to make sure you can. I mean, they can match it, but I'm saying yeah, like you're, you're right, going yeah, yeah, to have true. to get that one to see. You're going to have to see the shoe in hand, exactly, to get right. all the specifications, get all so the that's measurements like, right. Right. So I'm just, there's no way I don't feel like they're going to be able to, to replicate this shoe no. where it's not noticeable. They're going to get close, but it's going to be like, ah, his ain't look, you know what I'm saying? They're well, going to get the yeah, colors. Like you say, now they're going to have to see the shoe because, like I say, that that the space between the stitching is gonna have to be exactly three inches, just like it ain't even that. It's what's well, on some, the, you, some people. Did, it is true, but I'm saying, but you did you in this shoe? Did you see like the inside of that joint? Like mm. it's hard to tell, but I pulled it up in my video. But underneath the tongue, um, and I gotta see if I can find it. But underneath the tongue. Both of the tongues are some stuff. One has like a like a um a a, a, a mask on, and then the other one has like a um it's those like subtle it details. Like, yeah, it's those little subtle details. And the other one says shady uh records or slim. Uh, I think it says shady okay. records. So okay. yeah, I gotta see if I can pull it up. Hold on. Like, let me see if I can find this joint because that's the thing, like too, where I'm like, they're not gonna be able to duplicate. Now that's the hard part. Like yeah. they're not gonna be able to duplicate that part because that's the it's a unique shoe, but that's like the you you uniqueness of it. You know what I'm saying? You're not mm -hmm. no, you're not. It's not happening. Like I ain't trying to be mean, but it's like not happening. Yeah. Like yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. I can't even find it. But on the back of the joint, one side says Shady Records, and the other side say like um. Like it's got that little mask in the joint. I'm like, yeah. yeah well, yeah. you know, well, you gotta think the Super Bowl was only two days ago, so you know, like the, the right. shoe, How fast the shoe can wasn't the really focal, move. The shoe wasn't the focal point of the uh, of the video, you know. I mean, of the Super yeah, Bowl. So, you know, yeah, it wasn't. That's not gonna. That's not gonna be uh, the topic. You know, that's not gonna be the topic of discussion. You know, so but yeah, for so. Like, and for people in our world, that's you know what we see and that's what we care about is that it right there yeah you see it oh, so yeah, yeah. shady records right there and then on this one you see it got the um m, &M mask on that joint yeah you think they're gonna be able to you can't not based off this picture mm -hmm. you know what i'm yeah. saying so because oh, yeah. that's all they're gonna have for reference and then it's like you yeah you there's you can't replicate like i'm sorry i'm not saying there aren't gonna be some pretty close but yeah. overall there's they're not gonna be able to duplicate yeah, nah, I don't think so. But you think it's worth the hype or no? Uh, yeah and no, because on, only yeah because for only yeah and no because of the same reasons. Yeah, because of the exclusivity and the name tied to it, and no, for the same reasons. Yeah. You know, so, like I mean, it's clearly it's clear that that, that wasn't going to be a shoe that was made for the general public, you know, because yeah, we hadn't made seen for the average, any, yes. we we well because only because we hadn't seen any news about it, and nobody nobody knew anything about it. nobody even the top sneaker has when you're talking about this shoe. Yeah, yeah, they didn't know, but you just think saying, like, it was like, a shoe made exclusively for him, probably just for that performance. Like I say, you know, right. just for and his if wardrobe. Anybody, I feel like anybody would have knew it would have been like a DJ Khaled. But see, also, I was thinking because he's in the music industry, but at the same time, he don't, not saying they got beef or anything, but we ain't seen a Cali work with anybody like an Eminem. Well, has he worked with Eminem? I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? I, he, I don't think he's, I don't think he's done a song with Eminem. He hasn't messed with Dr. Dre and I don't think I've heard any Snoop Dogg. So well, I, what because, I'm saying, well, because Eminem doesn't want to do music with the artists that Khaled makes music for. 
maybe. But I'm saying I, I was getting that that like I think he hasn't. I don't think Cali's touched over to the West Coast like on the on that side of the West Coast anyway. Messing with that group because you know what I'm saying to get in that group you gotta have. You know what I'm saying? It's like you gotta. gotta you kind of gotta have permission almost. Yeah, like he's not everybody. You know what I'm saying? They let yeah, uh, so locked it? in with the you know is this is a, a small knit group. You know it is. It's yeah, very, it's very true. You know. Yeah, they just a legend. They're a different type of legends, and they sticking close, which is nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying that's why I think maybe that's why we haven't even heard it. But that's why I said maybe that's why to loop it back in. That's why I think Cali. I'm saying why do you think these. you you'll never hear a, you? Well, maybe it's happened, but have you ever heard a New York artist rapping over a Cali beat? Nah, which <laughs> kind of artist? A Cali, like a West Coast artist rapping over like a New York. I was about to say, I was trying to producer beat. Uh, not really. It's very rare to be honest. Yeah, yeah. but I'm about to say, you know, I'm I, not saying this haven't happened, but yeah, I mean, to be if honest, anybody, almost, if anybody in the comments can you know can name one, let me know because I don't know of one. But yeah, I don't know. But this is what I'm getting at. Like that's why maybe because Khaled ain't plugged in with them. That's why he didn't know. And just yeah, this got to be. I'm almost. I'm pretty safe to say these are probably one on one. Like I'm most I'm almost a hundred percent sure. Yeah, exactly. Like I say, like I say, they're just the fire reds or the cardinals with you know with uh Eminem's you know branding on got you. Kwame said they so close to the Cardinals red, I wouldn't pay money for them. Exactly, nothing extra yeah. anyway. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know, man. And hey. what you're paying and what you're paying for is that E on the tongue and that my name is Slim Shady on the back. That's that's literally what you're paying for. Well, yeah, shady records and the little skull mask. But you're also paying for like the limited the limitability, like you know how limited it is. That's what you're paying for. I mean, this is the, you can't have a limit on it when they never make a limit. I'm talking about like the how this is true, but we saying it's like only one on one, so that's making it very limited. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's no limit on it if it's only one shoe made. You know, like I said. Uh, but yeah. Uh, besides that, I think it's a uh, very, very nice shoe. Very nice shoe. Nice shoe, but like Kwame said, not worth the hype. Like the reason. Well, no, market on it. no, of course not. Yeah. So this, let's, I would say watch out. Just, just remember this shoe now and just. Wait, probably about a year from now. That's probably when we, if if we ever do see it, that's I would say that's probably around a good time to start looking for. It. Probably about a year from now is when we could probably start if we we'll see it on the market. You know? Yeah. So um, I say we gotta dive into this Cali situation, man. You see the joint where he got the um, he got the he got because I guess this basically I should have titled this like exclusive sneakers because I feel like that's all we've been on. But yeah, I about to say he got some exclusive Jordan One Bel Airs never seen before because this is another shoe that if you type in StockX, you will not be able to find the joint, man. So um, let me pull it up real quick. I'm gonna see if I can play the video if it works or not. Y'all let me know if y'all hit a joint whenever I start playing it. I'm gonna try to take it back real quick before I start it. Yeah, but y'all let me know if y'all hear the audio. If not, really, the audio really ain't the important part. It's really to look at this shoe, man, because it's like, wow. So let me um, put it up on the screen real quick. I, I showed Devin Dunks this the other day, but this came out, I think this was just yesterday. So it's like back-to-back -back exclusive sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm just like, these are... Is that why, uh, is that why uh, the general public's not getting any heat right now? <sighs> <laughs> hey, are these valid the, uh, point? Valid, are valid the question. Air, are, are these a Bel Air pair or the uh, Board of Governors? No, this is the this is the Bello the Bel Air pair. Um, okay. I'll pull up the Governors next. I okay. saw. I got my own mixed feelings about those, but I put this. Up. This is the cat. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Let me know if y'all can hear the audio or not, real quick. I got an opinion on it too, but I'll wait until we get to it because I'm very it interested direct, in what you're direct comparison but I say I think you know what I'm gonna get at I think you know what I'm gonna get at but we'll just wait all right so let me show this if y'all haven't seen this man I'll show Devin Dunks but I, I just got our view this for you guys right here man come get this come get this please look at it shout out to Will Smith shout out to Peacock original make sure y'all check this out but man this is gonna be legendary look at the Jays on his feet but look at his packaging look 
Look at this. Come get the get the come get the gate. Come get the gate. You know what I'm saying? Still. Oh. Hold and on. Nice, here's, here's nice music. presentation. It's some music playing out of here. And then boom, look. Oh. Boom. Sheesh. Still. Belair. Check this out. Look at this. Still. This is incredible packaging. No, this is incredible. Look at it. Still. Now try this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come over here now. Come around here. Quick, quick. We've got one minute. Still. Still. You see the 76ers Still. now? That's the Philly. Philly. Still. Yo, Will Smith. Belair. Thank you so much. Peacock. Another one. Yo, these are so dope, yo. What you think? Let me, uh, I'm gonna just, I just want to get it where we see the shoe. I don't want him to talk anymore, just to have it up on the screen. There we go. Seems like a good angle right here. Where we at? Yeah. So, what do you think of these right here, man? Uh, I feel like we'll see them. I feel like that uh, eventually they'll come out on the market. True. What do you? I'm you know, talking about as a shoe. How do you feel about it? Like, what do you think uh, looks? Nothing wise, special. Like, nothing special. You just think like a plain Jordan. I, honestly, it looks like a shoe. In my opinion, it looks like a shoe that will end up at the Nike outlet. But now that we got this Bel Air twist to it, it that just that gives it some sort of hype that will, that's going to die down a month after it comes out. True. Because what um, what what's special? But it's a. What what's special about it that makes it uh, a, a a Bel Air? Because previous Bel Airs have been what they say they were. They were true to it. The Bel Air fives, they look like the Bel. I mean, the Fresh Prince fives, or whichever, whatever people. But want this to call is it. based off a new joint, a new show. But it's okay. it's still Fresh I Prince, the, but they got a new yeah. thing. I get you know what the, I'm uh, I get where you're coming from. It, they could have made it okay. Then okay, if that was, if that was the case, then they could have made it look like exactly like the basketball tie it to some way to that then they can say okay it's exclusive to this show because right now it just looks like you can you can pull that same shoe up right now and it's already out i'm sure you, know you can or some somewhat close so to i'm it. probably close to it i'm just i can't think of what's really close to it yeah. let's say but i, I mean, get what I mean, you're yeah i'm not like i say i'm not trying to be a hater sounds a hater on the shoe but as like i say uh I don't think it's anything special and i don't think it's anything that we haven't seen and won't see yeah so because my thing is these are like based off of this and apparently it's on peacock which is the nbc network but i can't find it on my regular nbc so i guess it's an app they want you to download i think the yeah, first it's episode peacock. is it's a, it's a one of those streaming apps yeah i think the first episode is free and then i think it's like five dollars a month or something if you want to go premium but it's not that deep for me. But I do, I think I will watch the first free episode just to see what it's about. I mean, I know it's based off the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but it's supposed to be like a more up-to-date modern version. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Does Hollywood even have any like original ideas anymore? But neither here nor there, man. It's, it's kind of good sometimes to get a good remake sometimes because I'm sure, because I've seen my parents say that like, oh, this already came out, but this is a new version. You know, and all that. they... They like yeah. the older version better. And then that's how we're going to be like, man. We like Fresh Print. We don't want this new stuff. You know what I'm saying? It, mm -hmm. History repeats itself in its own way. But mm -hmm. these shoes, man, I think they're dope. But I feel where you're coming from. If they didn't have the Bel Air twist, Will Smith, a name attached to it, what kills me what it is? I just wish they would have wrote something on it, like to make yeah, it. Yeah, I'm saying thing. tie it to exclusively yeah, like, to this show. Yeah, like the other ones, they did the color scheme where you can't top it. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. you could just. It was Bel Air themed, and I get this is Bel Air themed, but I mean, like this guy that's playing the new Will, I feel like he um he, he doesn't remind me of the old Will, but I get the styles were different versus back then versus <laughs> now. But I, you know what I'm saying? But um, I feel like these comments. <laughs> <laughs> let me check them out. Um, we got Sneaker Guru says, "What's goody, my guys? What's good, Sneaker Guru? What's going on, man?" Um, we got Stinger Guru again. He says those Jordan ones are Fuego. Okay, yeah, okay. Do you just like them because it's attached to the Bel Air whole Will Smith thing, or do you really think they Fuego because they just like well, if this shoe would have come? Yeah, it's my thing. Are you from Philly? Do you just a big fan <laughs> of the show, or 
if this didn't have the Bel Air and coming from Philly theme to it, would you still like them? Just just ponder that for me. And I'm there's I'm not mad either way. I'm just yeah, saying, nah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> um visualize 20 years ago says looks like the Jordan 1 tan gum. I'm gonna pull that joint up real yeah. quick too, but um it sounds about accurate. I'm just curious. You, saying, man. you see what I'm saying, man. People that eating these they they're tearing these shoes up, man. Like I say, it's the shoes already out. <laughs> Let me see what these tan gums is hitting for, man. Let me see. Oh snap. But it's a mid, but that doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm pulling it up anyway. It's a mid, but uh you gotta say, hold on. It's like a mid version of that i think we uh visualized 20 years ago is that has found the corporate he, 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 he think he's on it huh he hit it right yeah, on there you don't, you don't crop the corporate man right here it says they don't have a gum but they don't have a gum <laughs> bottom though i mean you know that's what uh, they don't hey. have that gum bottom though hey man yeah. good eye visual <laughs> do they have a gum bottom on these let me see let me look that's at a gum bottom here. The other one it just looks like the color scheme of what the shoe is, like a rubber. Hold on, let know? me see if these Kwamis. Let me, let me see if uh, dang. Me, oh, never mind. They have a gum bottom. I, yes, they do. I just I peeked back at Callie's video. They have a gum bottom. This is definitely this shoe, right? Am I tripping? It's <sighs> nah, just, man. but it's it's a mid though. It's 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 different. What they hitting for? One hundred seventy five. Average. Okay, so the 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 highs, <laughs> so the highs should only go for about two fifty. Yeah, and these came out apparently in twenty twenty one in September. I don't remember nobody talking about these, but I know why. It's probably because it was a mid. So they came out what? What's that? About six, seven, eight months ago, something like that. Yeah, in September. But see, I don't never, I don't even remember doing a video on these well, because no. it was a mid. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know wow. what I'm saying? That's probably why they they know that too, and that's probably why they're able to uh, uh, sneak these in because they know nobody was really checking for these. But people who really know, you know, they know. Yeah, people. Yeah. You know, you can't really get can't really get a lot past people See, who know. That's what's sad is I just look back at the wheel joint. Um, <laughs> it's got the same Jordan logo on the tongue too. It is. It's a, It's all they did was give them a high. And that's so why Khaled only, hyping him up like it's some shoe that is only gonna see ten pair? Like you said, bro, it's one of those people didn't know about it, so that's probably why. You know what I'm saying? They can sneak they, it in there. Yeah, they can sneak it in there because the shoe probably didn't do well, and it probably did go to some out, outlets, and then they, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, try to revamp it, get some yeah. more sales out of it. And it's like, oh, now we can sell it this way though, but yeah. That's, good yeah, catch, visual good. eye. That was a real good yeah. catch, man. Great for real. I appreciate that, man. For sure. Um, Jeff second, Jeff two says, literally already dropped, and that's yep. probably what he's talking about right there. Right? Sneaker hey. guru says, cheap version of the Jordan One rookie. I agree. Uh, let me pull up the let me see. Jordan one rookie. Let me see what that was about. Rookie of the year. I think he's talking the rookie of the year. The rookie of the years, yeah. Get this joint up. Oh, I just put Rocky. Whoa, whoa, whoops. <laughs> I'm special. Uh, yeah, slightly. A little, a slight spin off of the rookies. I got these two. That's what killed me. That's why I knew. But those are fire, though. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, those are. But, yeah. But I, I think we got to stay with that tan mid, though. It's still like yeah. spot on. Mm -hmm. um, Sneaker Guru says, nah, I'm trolling. Show <laughs> are weak. <laughs> he said they weak. <laughs> he was acting like you want them. See, we are at, see well, what if we follow up asking him? He didn't know, and now he don't like them. But yeah, you know, it's, it's great. I, I don't know. Like I say, uh, this is just, this is uh, them just, it's just a lot of friends and family stuff right now, honestly. Yeah. I don't know, man. And it seems like it like I said, it's just been a slow starter this uh mm -hmm. this year, man. Like January was definitely a quiet month, and this month yeah. wasn't no better. I mean, you can have a hundred people working it, but they could all be brain dead. So, you know. 
just they gonna hit us though. They gonna hit us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's probably gonna be end of the year. Yeah, just like I mean, last year. End of the year, they always go off. You know what I'm saying? They mm-hmm. always go off at the end of the year. Um, Big Lie twenty years ago said, "I mean, the box it comes with is nice and creative, but the shoe is eh." Exactly, man. And that's why it, I, I said that. I say the I said the presentation is nice. Right, because you know? like you got you can't help but compare them to the other Bel Airs. Like, mm-hmm. let me see if I can pull up a Bel Air. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you can just tell. Like, now I don't like the alternates, and I do have this version. I love them, man. One mm-hmm. is gray. You can't go wrong with gray. I'm saying it just gives you that vibe, that theme that, that is a you know, yeah. it's a retro, it's a retro fun shoe. You know. Yeah, like you can see, because this base our will had these little he wore yeah, all like, you these know, funky outfits, and now you it's get like, that, like you said, that funky. You just get that funky style from it that you can just you can just be wacky with it and just you know just throw on your you know yeah, so whatever with it. That join one, but see the thing is, I hope I say well they've done that. They done some um I want to say bad bunnies or something like that. I forgot, but had a whole bunch of different colors like and look tie dye colors look, on it. So they can do. I was about to say maybe they can't do it because of the material, but uh, that's and, not true. And even still, they were spot on again with the grapes that they did. They were even true to the no laces. Yeah. So and come then on, they can do it. Putting holes on them anyway, but yeah. Yeah. Why? That's that's dumb. Then you just then you just got grapes. You just got grape fives. You know. Yeah, this is true. So I get what you're saying. Yep, I forgot all about them. And I think I remember this joint is another little. This one didn't get as much popularity, but um. The uh, these were kind of like kind of people were saying he was like the alternates at first, but they're actually like the lab, the three lab five or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but they kept trying to push that on the Prince uh, theme to Prince of Bel Air theme. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, Sneak Guru says them uh, Jay Bowen joins exactly, man. That's I love y'all, man. Which one, those I, ones, those ones yeah. that he released, really still is going. Yeah. God. Yeah, I said those, the wrong name. Um, I said on. Bad Bunny joint. Jay Balvin, like, yeah. No, uh, Bad Balvin. Bunny. He Bad Bunny got Adidas. Yeah, he got Adidas. Which but this aren't, is what I was about. Aren't too bad. So you mean I'm just not saying, but this I'm saying they if they can do all these different and that's like a gene material. So if they can do all that to this, they could have. I feel you. I'm, I'm with you. They could have did how they did the Bel Air fives, but you know, put that color on it. Funny story. I've actually seen this on foot. I've seen somebody with these on feet. Uh, oh, these still, Jay Bowen joints? Yeah. Still feel the same way about them, seeing them on foot the way I feel off foot. Like, they're, they're, they're hideous shoes. And, and like I say, and on and seeing them in person makes it even worse because now you get to see all these bright colors meshed together. It, <laughs> you know? I'll be honest. It's not the coloring for me. It's the... Going the woobs here, you know what I'm saying? The cuts, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can deal with everything else, yeah, but that's the part you see. This it's like Mm -hmm. cut, like right here, it's hiding the hip, you know what I'm saying? And then right here, here, go on the tongue, the toe. Let me see if I can spin around, yeah, right here on the toe. Same concept. I don't like that. I don't like. I don't like when Jordan was doing that when they were putting the actual tag on the tongue. I don't, I, I was never a fan of that. Oh, you like you prefer just the Nike join me too. Man. No, I prefer prefer just the jump man sewn into the tongue or just the Nike sign. I don't like the, the tag on the toe. You know what I'm saying? You're, yeah, you see how, but they, have that's how they do that's how they do the Jordan ones though. Yeah, but not with the jump man like that, you know, like you know, like that's what I'm saying. They do Nike like the little wreck. That's what I said. That's what you want. You oh, want okay, just yeah, the regular, I, I'm sorry, yeah, I just want, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah you just I want the regular little Nike. Nike. Yeah, and see this one, I think it's kind of yeah. See, it's sewn on, but it's just a little tag. You know what I'm saying? I feel I like that better as well. Jump man sometimes be a little od. Mm-hmm. Um, Kwame says I love the J Bobbins. I should just buy them already. Hey. I knew you liked them, Kwame. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I knew. Yeah. You, yeah. I'm not surprised at all, man. Yeah, Kwame, you are <laughs> definitely in a uh, league of your own, bro. Which yeah, is nothing but wrong. It's a good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a good thing. But Love it's the like, uniqueness, what's, these, you know? what's your size, Kwame? All right, so these um averaging 380 retail on them was what? I'm pretty sure they was like 170, 190, worst case scenario. <laughs> so, um, yeah. They averaging about four, five. Yeah, sheesh. 
Ain't they're playing on these they're, guys. They want it. They're, they definitely want it. People want them, you know? Yeah, that's like I said. They definitely that. And I like, honestly, have you, I like some of his music low key, though, but I, these ain't for me. Jay Belvin, Eric uh, Jordan, too. Can't, can't say that I've heard much music by uh, Mr. Jay Belvin. Nah, he's pretty cool. Air Jordan 2. What about the Air Jordan 2? The uh, I'm on my ears? Is that what he's trying to bring up? Yeah, those are hideous. I, they ain't grown. I love, and I got both of the on my ears, but I just honestly, I don't think they for me. Oh, he says he's a nine and a half. So let's see what they got. I was gonna just say, I was gonna guess. I was saying, just let's just say a nine. <laughs> so about five oh four, bring them home for you, crummy. Uh -huh. I understand, dog. So, I don't I'll say more cl closer to six hundred after taxes from Stock X. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, but I say that to say, like, maybe if he, if you try to search eBay, y'all know how if somebody got like a good used pair, you may can get them for about 300. Yeah, you can probably, you know, free own, you know what I'm yeah, you get a little bit of negotiation if possible. Um, Kwame says they too much for something I'd want to wear a lot. Oh, I feel you. So you don't want to mess them up. See, and that's what be making me mad and too. See, when that's I where do touch see, resale market. Yeah. Yeah, like I hate whenever I spend all that money now. It's like I don't want to walk on eggshells on a joint versus that's all I missed about back in the day, man. I hate to keep bringing it up, but like you know, everybody was getting stuff for retail. We was taking everything for granted back then, man. Because we ain't no way I would have called this happening in like all this time, like in years like this. Like I knew it was a resale market, but like not on the level that it is. It's like, man, yeah. I'm so sorry for the shoes I beat up. You know what I'm saying? This would be a good point. Like I said, he wants them, but uh, he don't want to pay that much for something he wants to wear. See, this would be a good instance where he could go the UA route if these shoes were being made like that, you know, where he could, yeah. he could still have them and enjoy them without having to uh, pay the uh, almost $600 for them, you know? Yeah. There's and, an Air Jordan 2 Balvin? I mean, hey, I, I'm, I finding out, I'm finding out with you, so. Yeah, I don't think so, but I, may, I don't know. I don't think there is one. He says, going to be nuts, probably dropping into something. Okay, so it ain't out yet. Okay, okay, I got you. You got me kind of worried there. I was like, man, how did I miss that one? But um, maybe so. You are, Is there already, like, leaked images? Let me see. I'm just curious because I see how um, uh, looks like it glows in the dark. If this is anything to it, but... I don't know if this is it, but I'm gonna put it up on the screen anyway. Give me like two seconds. But uh I don't know. I still feel like this ain't enough to tell. I mean, I know it's gonna be unique for sure. But yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, if this it is gonna be blue and then like this ain't actually ain't that bad. So clearly it's gonna glow in the dark. Okay. Oh, that is sweet right there. They got the tongue glowing in the dark though. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. But then like, at the end of the day, man, and see, but it's a reason why they got that blue light on them. So, I mean, I guess that's going to be the official colorway. But I I don't know because it's really hard to tell because it, it just looks like they're showing like, hey, this shoe glows in the dark. It's meant for the, like yeah, that. Like they, got it under, stuff. like they got it under a black light or something, you know? Yeah, so what is the actual color gonna look like? I feel like that's still a mystery right now because I'm I was assuming blue, but I don't think it's blue, and you can't pull it up on StockX, so yeah, well, hey. it's gonna be interesting, man. So, but yeah, do you feel like this? You, I get what you're saying though, it still feels like with all this talk, it seems like it's the year of like exclusiveness, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, oh, what yeah. I mean? or am I like everything is limited. I'm nah. not as in like I I don't know we and but also we got to keep in mind I just realized this we've been having delay problems this year too because a lot of things are being delayed like you know certain shoes that were supposed to drop got pushed back some of them got pushed up you know what I'm saying I guess mm -hmm. some some's off with the shipment for sure mm -hmm. so yeah. um because you know we starting to get more and more stuff but I think that's another thing we got to look into yeah that's probably oh, yeah. a bigger issue um. Did you see the um the LeBrons are supposed to come out the Big Bang joints? Uh, I think I saw those. Yeah, actually, I saw those like maybe a couple of weeks back. Yeah, it's like I don't know. It's the orange. It's nice, but it's also a shoe back in the day. People paid 
a lot of resale for. It was like a lot of people's grills. So that's another. That's why I said keeping with this whole exclusive thing. They're really, um, they're really dropping some like gems. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. Granted, they won't throw us the cherry twelves, but you know what I'm saying? They, as I said, they got a few things on. I'm I'm curious about if they're gonna do that. The I thought they were gonna do the um Drake uh Lover Boy Air Force One with the hearts, you know. But well, I didn't see yeah, that come uh, out. Well, apparently it's starting to go out. Uh, his the Noctas that he's got. Uh, I saw yeah. uh, some. I uh, forget the uh, basketball player, but he had a pair of them. I want to say PJ Tucker it was. I want to say. What's the point of What's the point of those joints? You know what I'm saying? Drake, like I don't Drake get. Doesn't, I don't, he, he doesn't uh, promote well. Yeah, maybe promote. that's it. Because if you think about, if you compare, him, and you have to, because they in the same. I don't say numbers wise, but they in the same field, music. You know, they do music, and um, Travis is hyping his own lane, and Drake is hyping his own lane. But why is the Travis shoe like always like yo? But then the Drake shoe is like so because but I, I because I feel this is this is how I feel about that situation. I feel like uh, they put uh, Drake's music in uh, as his quality, you know, because people are gonna like I say obviously you know people is gonna have people like uh, they're gonna go to Drake more for the music because he's putting out. Hits and hits, and he's putting out music that people can like relate to and party to. But Travis got a big market too, though. Yeah, but, but, you but think, a certain you think, a certain group of people, you know. Tra- Travis not making music about relationships and about being with somebody for X amount of years and stuff. But it's you know? weird because I mean so I, know Travis, that, is, I know Travis. I know Travis is a big artist. Out. True. But I know Travis is a big artist, but is would you say he's bigger than Drake? No, no. But on the sneaker world, though, yeah, because Drake can sell his music better than Travis can. Travis's music is only pertains to a certain small. I don't even say small, but a certain group of people. You know? Yeah, I feel and you. That's generally, like, generally the younger crowd that just have no no cares, no worries. That just want to live for the moment like i say drake is making music with people who's been in x amount of years serious relationships and stuff when he wants to you know so yeah. he can switch yeah. that on and off when he wants to and that's why i feel like people will pay they're gonna he can drop he can drop an album and a whole wardrobe on the same day and that album is going to sell way better than that whole wardrobe yeah. he dropped, you know yeah this is true this is true and, and travis Probably. can sell travis can drop some some merchandise and some music on the same day and his merchandise is going to do better than the music is because that's just how that's just how they've been promoted you know like yeah travis yeah. You, your music your music is good enough to where we you know i mean your stuff is your, your clothing is good enough to where we can get people to listen to your music and on yeah. the other end with drake is your music is good enough to where we can get people to buy your merchandise you know yeah, but it still just don't do. Yeah, I guess I mean, musically, it, it, it balances out for both of them because it's still. Yeah, them, yeah, they both. Know? It's a win for both, but it's just always mm-hmm. weird too. I always thought about mm-hmm. it, like, man, people go crazy for them Travis's and people like the Drake. It's just like I don't, and it's some about the Drake sneakers where it's just like they just didn't execute it right. Like, I mean, it's because like, we got. I guarantee you this: we got we have an OVO store here. I can go to the OVO store right now. I guarantee you, something that came out two weeks ago is still in the store. You can go get it. You can't say, if, let Travis drop a Cactus Jack store. <laughs> you know, something yeah. that came out two weeks ago, you you probably won't see that piece for another two years. When somebody's ready to sell it, you know? True. All facts. I got to agree with you. It's so weird, though. Like, it's just weird. Like, the OVO shop, yeah. Travis shops are always just pop-ups. His never stay around long. Because I guess they always just run out of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh, you know, I, I, you know, I gotta have you. Uh, you know, Genius dropped today, right? You can watch it on Netflix. Part one has dropped. Oh, um, I ain't, I'm gonna check it out. After yeah, this, yeah, that's, you know yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's most, probably most definitely. Uh, don't I mean hit me up, but I'm telling you, that's probably what I'm gonna be doing. I guess as soon as we get off this, I'm gonna go uh, jump on that. Anybody seen it yet? 
don't ruin it for us, but just let me know if it's worth it now. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna be. I forgot you know. that joint draw. I need to get on that joint. I'm glad you brought up the Kanye joint. I mean, it still ties in there, but hopefully, it can break into like his whole mentality of like he's another person where he does a number, but he's his his clothing. He can sell it. You know, he can sell. He's always done yeah. sneakers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He he's like I guess he like the trap. I don't know if he gave Travis the game or what, but like. He can sell his stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That clearly you see, Travis is signed to Kanye West. Kanye West was at Nike. Kanye West loved Nike. Who went right in after Trap? Who went right in after Kanye left Nike? Travis, like I told you. I never Travis thought became, of that. Travis became I never Nike. thought of that. Travis became uh Kanye's successor for Nike. You know, cause true, yeah. He came to he came to Kanye. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. How did I miss that? You see, I missed when that. he met Travis, when he met Travis, he probably saw that Travis had some sort of like little style to him. He was like, Yo. I can, I can really, you know, do something with this guy. I can present, I can present him to Nike. And I never know? looked at it from that perspective, yo. Yeah, yeah. Valid point, man. Sheesh. Um, let me hit the chat real quick. Sneaker Guru says Union Jordan Two Gray. Uh, fog, I believe he means. We're gonna pull those up, man. We almost tore them anyway. We're gonna put them up for like, um, just upcoming releases. Um, Sneaker Guru again says Air Jordan 3 Desert Cement definitely cop. We'll pull those up too, man, real quick. Uh, before and, uh, we get out of here, man, pull those, uh, the Board of Governors up too. Remember, oh, yep, thank you for bringing it up. Yeah, that Cali joint had that right. Um, see, now this, now this is worth a presentation. You know, okay, for, okay. these are worth a presentation because they're they're Jordan ones. Uh, yeah, governors. Let me see if I can. Oh, board of governors. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, we got some real official images. I didn't really want to show the, the, the yeah yeah. No, these are real deals. Up. Yeah, these are real deal images. Yeah, let me um, because I seen Cali got a pair, but. Uh, right here. Okay, so can I say what I what I have to say about go? This? Feel free, brother. You got you can flow. already see the you can already see the picture in the thing about exactly what I'm going to say. You can see it in the images. It's just a royal homage to home. True. That's literally all it is. It's just a royal version of the homage to homes. Yeah, and, and I don't I'm understand gonna, why I'm, only 88 pair were made. Yeah, like that's another thing I saw where they were just that like, limited. Nobody, yeah. the royal, the royals aren't even that popular, but then they got nothing on the breads, you know. I think this is what they're talking about right here. Actually, the royals are significantly cheaper than the so breads. You know, homage to homes or bread of governors. The battle. It's the same. It's the same shoe. It's a royal homage to home. Hold on. Let me um. Let me put that on the screen real quick. You're right. Like I didn't even think of that. Man, uh like y'all on it tonight, man. Cause like it for real. I I knew when you showed me I'm like, man, not for me, but it said fight. <laughs> but uh, and you already know where where I'm going with this. You already know who so these are how much the home how much the home joints. Which one? Oh, so I know which one you like, but the how much the home makes much more sense. Like it's got the bread here in the Chicago. But I, I'm not a fan because I'd rather just have the breads in the Chicago. Well, yeah, yeah, shoe. of course. But you know, you can still obviously you can see what what they're trying to get at and what the intent is. You know. Yeah. So, oh, because that that give you like it almost gives you like fragment vibes. Yeah, or or then then we got the royal right black here. toe or royal black toe something like that. You know. No, this is just the regular royals. They no, got I'm saying the on the other side. You know, on the uh, other side is like a royal black tail. Yeah. I say like the fragment, Jordan 1 fragments. Yeah. Have you seen those? It's yeah. just like the Jordan oh, yeah. 1 fragment, oh, so yeah. I know that's what they're So aiming. wait, is that way? Wait, wait, go back to that image below that one. Is what? there something written on the back right there? It says, I think that says Michael Jordan, so it's okay, signed. Is that, a, is that on a homage to Holmes also? Uh, I don't think so. I, I never noticed no, it. Or they yeah, would have no, made no, they're not on them. I was like, that would have definitely. I know that would have caught my eye. Where I'm like, even still, I'd have been like, nice try. But yeah, rather man, these governors. I don't know, man. It's just yeah, 
And why <laughs> were there only 88 pairs made? And why exactly. does Khaled keep getting hit, man? I don't understand. I'm saying that, that's not even the shoe worthy of 88 pair. If anything, you right. guys should have done the homage to homes in 88 pair. Right. Something, you know what I mean? You know, you guys are doing this all wrong, man. Like making shoes exclusive to shows that's already out. Uh, bringing out <laughs> shoes that's already out, only sweeping, only swapping the, the th shoe theme, you know? Like, Go I mean, off, man. Go off. I'm just saying, man. Nike, like I say, it's got to be something coming up real big, or they just lost lost all uh, <laughs> our steam, you know? Because, I mean, they got to do better than what they come with right now, right? Yeah, man, because it's crazy. It's like, and what you are dropping, or <laughs> what you guys are dropping, are stuff that's like damn near unobtainable to the general population. Yeah, like it's getting a little out of hand. Like, man. let me hit the me, chat real quick. Yeah, though. yeah. He said, "Jeez, hey, you, <laughs> you, I feel you though, because it's it's like yo, <laughs> y'all put like you limited stuff where we can't get it. Then you put some stuff out there where like that ain't even obtainable. So like." What do you want from us? Like just to yeah, look at man. the shoe. You just want us to look at the shoe. Um, sneaker guru says Travis Scott is way better sneaker creator than Drake. True. Yeah, but it, maybe Travis puts more ideas into it, and Drake is just like, ah, oh, so many, <laughs> send me the final product, and I'll sign off on it. Yeah. You know, what I'm, I don't know. Honestly, you know? maybe Drake is to that point where he's just so big that he doesn't have the time to sit down and just be all hands on or ne maybe he never even wanted that maybe that's what travis wanted travis wanted yeah. to be a part of the creation you know drake yeah. is just one of those guys who's like you know what I i'm putting all my trust in you guys uh you guys are my team just make it happen you know whereas yeah. travis is the guy who wants to be in the room and wants i mean to all he would do is throw like an owl inside the shoe and it was just like yo which is the drake logo like the ovo logo but it's like mm -hmm. bro like come on like the eights he did, it was like white and gold. It's like, uh, we kind of seen that already. And it's like, um, the Drake, there's a Drake version of the Raptor Force, and was like, uh, come, we already seen this shoe. Yeah, and it's like the Toronto Raptors, yeah. Yeah. And then there's like um there's a he did the Jordan 12 OVO, and it's like, yeah. dude, come on, man. Oh, and then let's not forget the OVO tens, where it's like, yeah. Come on, man. You, you got to do a little bit better. At least put a little effort into the joint. You know what I I'm mean, saying? Yeah. You've got, you've had how many uh, chances with Jordan? And, you know, none of them seem to have seen to have seen any type of success because, you know. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> but they won't let him go, though. So he's still in the game. Well, no, because um, his music is gold. His music is gold, man. They can't, they, they cannot physically let wh whoever drake is signed to besides his whole cash money contract whoever he signed to besides that if drake leaves that record label probably is not going to see the success uh, that they've seen from to, him probably in like another 10 years to quote bird man he in it for life he ain't going nowhere regardless and that's Birdman's exact words yeah i don't I, know yeah, whether exactly he got him signed drake, over there <laughs> Said we'll me and Drake will forever be in business. Right, he said it best. We'll forever. <laughs> I'm saying, in I guess I'm saying whoever I said whoever he signed to besides Cash Money, if he was to leave that label, they wouldn't probably wouldn't see. Oh yeah, because he the yeah, success Roman that they've seen from him. Deals, yeah, they would yeah, see the success from him for another ten years. You know. Now that I think about it, he's been, been, he's been on a good ten year. He, he's been on a good ten year run. Longer than that, bro. I'm saying, yeah, years. at least 10 years, at least a good I'm strong calling 10 it years. now, man. I'm huh? calling it now. Like, everybody that's been on the cash money record label, they don't, it's only one way out. You either got to be successful or you just not putting out music ever. Pick one. Mm -hmm. Think about anybody else that nobody's left and done nothing else. They can't, they won't let them leave. If you're, but that also mm -hmm. goes to show you if you're a big artist there, you're not, oh. Tiger, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They're not missing that, you know what I'm saying? I'll still put Tiger in like maybe the, like the B tier rapper. He's not A tier. He's still doing his thing low key. Though. Yeah, but I mean he's not A tier. True. Um sneaker guru says Drake, Drake, soldier boy voice that boy 
can't even dress. <laughs> um, visualize what I'm with. Y'all going in on that man, but I guess Tra- Travis just got more uniqueness than Drake. Drake is plain Jane. You I'm know saying I mean? like, Drake, just, well, the, both of them are for a certain crowd, you know? Yeah, there's people Drake who is, don't like Drake. Nobody, there's people who don't like Travis. Yeah, they Travis both make is more the younger on, generation. Yeah, yeah he's younger, they both man. make music on the uh, opposite ends of the spectrum from each other, you know? It's like, true. But 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 the thing is that they're both such great artists that they can make a song together and it sounds fire. Sicko, yeah. what was it? Uh, Sicko mode. Yeah. See, like it's two opposite ends of the spectrum, dope. making music making wise, but they come together and you know, different. Yeah. And it's, that was the Sicko mode was literally like the song that uh pretty much floated uh the Astro World album. True. Um, and that's literally music. that's the, that's still the album that Travis is on, and that album's been out for what five years, six years now. Uh, yeah, yeah, and you know that song is fire, you know? It yeah. just yeah, they. I'm on Travis Travis Utopia. Yeah, you. Uh, yeah. you know. he, 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 <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, I, I feel you, but you know what I'm saying that probably was part of the plan but you know things change hey, hey how about this let's 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 just say this how about travis is waiting until he releases his album then that's when he's gonna start dropping his shoes and stuff again probably i mean you know? how long, last time i i say maybe and because you gotta summertime. think no think about this they gotta do something to, to get, boost his sales back up so if they do like a a, a, a drop where the album drops probably the day before or after, like some shoes drop to where it'll get people back on the radar of him, you know? Because yeah. obviously nobody nobody's gonna be really checking for his music right now, unless like I say, unless you're just one of the dedicated I'll fans, say, you know. Yeah, by summertime we should be a okay. I'm gonna call it summertime. Cause you know, like he's what is it what is it called whenever they do this to them? They're um canceled. What yeah, they're canceled. So he's canceled for right now. Hey, is the baby? Did he get canceled again for uh, beating up his baby mom boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> that was self defense, though. Man. Just to keep it up in it. But no, oh, I don't. Man. That one. That one's fair because, like, um, let me just put it this way: you know, and I know, in general, when what happened to him, he asked for because you he said to himself the next day he came he his mistake was coming there by himself. <laughs> But like, but he shouldn't have said. He shouldn't have said on site. I mean, yeah, he he, said that's what. Yeah, he said on site, and it's like, dude, <laughs> like, no disrespect. Was like, I'm not saying. And the thing he kept saying, I was talking about a fair one, one on one. I'm like, have you seen the last scenarios that involve him? Like, it's exactly. It's, they, it's you're never, not. Yeah, it's never gonna <laughs> just be a one on one. with you gonna have. That's the thing, and even <laughs> if it is, like, was he expecting like? Hey guys, step aside. It's between me and him. It's like one, his security probably would have got fired if he didn't do what he's supposed to do. Two, let me just put it this way. I assume everybody in that that's around him ain't got talent, but they eating. So yeah, and they, considering that's and part of about this. The baby's only like five, seven, five, eight. So you know, yeah. he's not a, he's not a very tall guy at all. And they keep saying, like, yo. Well, he missed. I'm like, that ain't the point because it didn't matter <laughs> what the point is. He didn't he miss the back was... of the head. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, what they, <laughs> what they miss... <laughs> The point is, yo, he can touch them, but his security job is not to let, he's not supposed to get touched. So that dude yeah. already knew that. Why do you think he didn't fight back? Like, you're not, you're not able to. You know what you're I'm not saying? that what, you're not that guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And now, and now, he, and now he's trying to sue. Yeah, it was like you can't sue. Why you sue for something you were you, you started the one initiated it? Yeah, you said on site. So what that means? But I don't know. Maybe in your world, Jeremy, but on, in, on site in, in my world, that means yeah. that they you know. Talking like, about that he that wanted to talk. That, that means you want to do something to me when you see me. So yeah, you, like you that's know? the thing. He are and I get the meaning of him going up there, but again, I'm just saying this: you can't go up there 
by one by yourself. And the thing is, like, I I seen at least five people, the baby plus five other people. And I bet all five of them had at least two guns on them. That's what I'm saying. Worst case scenario, dude. Even if you would have got worst case scenario, you up, get you get a you get beat up. <laughs> you know, that's yeah, the worst case scenario. You know, like that's the best it. case. The best case scenario. I'm say that somebody said the best. Somebody said the best. He's lucky. That's all they did to him. Yeah, you know I'm saying. What I mean? best, you got the you got the best viable option that you got the best viable outcome that you could have gotten. You got you got beat up because you know. Because yeah, I'm saying it could have got worse. You got embarrassed, and that's all of this from him. He got embarrassed on the internet. That's I think yeah. that's what it is. His pride is hurt, you know, because he yeah, talking all don't, that don't. big stuff. He talking all that big stuff, talking about some on site. Oh, what he gonna do to him? I'm just keep it behind me. One, I'm not finna call nobody out, but two, even if I call somebody out, it's like if I roll up there, I'm like, oh, man, he don't look like he by himself, and that guy or, is really bigger than him. I'm getting or, out of here. Or even still. With the reputation you already know he has, right. you already know how he get down. You already know, and it especially it's only even the pot's only sweeter because it is you you coming up there trying to defend his sister, and now you are gonna get your ass beat. True, you know. Right. And so now now he can call your sister and be like, ah, you got you trying to call your brother up here, and he got his ass beat. You know. <laughs> well, I mean, those kind of challenges to do, but you know. I hate to know what was said behind the scenes. Yeah, but that's, that's off that. topic. I just, you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just saying. I all I know is I guarantee you that's just what we seen in the public behind the scenes. Oh. There's no telling what he said to that boy sister. Speaking of which, After. she had the uh, speaking of which, he had off white dunks on that day too. The baby did. Oh, okay, yeah, he yeah. be starting at the cool kicks joint a lot. Um, and he, put, he he beat the dude up and went to L.A. Leakers right after. And wraps it. <laughs> Drop the freestyle. <laughs> yeah, drop the freestyle on the LA Leakers right now. Yeah, then you know it was the same day because he had the same clothes on that he beat the dude up in. So yeah. I don't know if it was before. I don't know if it was before the bowling alley or after. I just know it was the same exact clothes. He came with too much energy. It had to be like after. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you, like, I'm oh, sorry. So you saw the freestyle? Yeah, it's dope. He killed it. Yeah, it is. But it's, it's like, he, um, you can just, even the stuff happened. he rapped about. His adrenaline was, his adrenaline was still Yeah, it, it was, yeah. What, yeah his eyes were like, up this, to, he was like. <laughs> this is the thing, how you know it hadn't been long happened, or he's still fired up about it. Because yeah, like, out of breath. usually when people go to L.A., they usually lit. Like, you know, they, and he's usually pretty chill, too, if you see him on camera smoking and stuff. But this time it was like. It either it I didn't it smoke out, I yeah, it <laughs> you know? yeah, like he lost it. Like you could just yeah. tell he came in and he rapped super fast. And it's just like <laughs> I get what he said, but like then when you later learn it, like oh, That's he, what he was talking about. They just got like they just left. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, I mean the bowling alley was in L.A. anyway, so it only makes sense. He probably just like man, let's go do this freestyle. I'm ready now. <laughs> you know. Well, he's like, man, I'm late, you know, ain't no telling, you know. Say, Sorry, man, I got caught up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm gonna make it up to you, I promise. And oh, boom. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, um, oh, let me man. hit the chat real quick. Visualize nice little... it. Yeah, nice little off mode, man. Bear mm -hmm. with us, man. But, um, Visualize 20 years ago says, I saw DJ Khaled opening that those up, but yeah, homage to home, just like Devin said, facts, facts. Um, Kwame says Travis shoes are all unique. Drakes are boring. True. That's probably what yeah. it is. Yeah. It is. yeah. He yeah, he just keeps what I'm saying. Too. But that's because, like I say, that's probably because Travis has some type of input in what goes on his shoes. You know, he has True. some type of, you know, uh thing that goes into that. You know, uh what Drake has, like I say, he's a he probably just takes the route of, well, I I you guys have a team for me that's in charge of that. So all I need to know is just to make sure the product get the product gets out there, you know. Right. Yeah. He doesn't have mm -hmm. time to be sitting down designing shoes. He, you know, this dude is pumping out, you know, hits. all these radio hits. Right. Um, Sneaker Guru says facts, Kwame. So they agree. Um, Zone P says, "What's good? What's good, Zone yeah, P?" What's going on? And then we got Sneaker Guru says Drake got one fire sneaker that Jordan Eight OVO. Prom Kentucky Madness. 
Oh, I think I see well, somebody yeah, like the talking about that. Yeah, but I, honestly, I don't even think that really do it for me. But I seen it on um, I forgot whose show I seen this on. But yeah, I know I'm gonna pull that joint up, and then we're gonna go into upcoming releases and uh, get about this thing for sure. But let me see if I can pull it up. Cause I know it's like a rare joint. Like I think it's super cool because it ain't even coming up on Stock X, but. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. They're only showing the OVO black and then the um the uh the 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 white and gold joints. So they don't even got them on here, but I seen them on the perfect pair channel. Those joints are dope, man. I may even see if I can just pull it up on a regular. Let me see. So regular images. Then we're gonna do upcoming releases. OVO Kentucky. Yeah, it's like a blue joint. I know exactly what you're talking about. Guiding. You seen these before? Let me put them up on the screen real quick. This is a Drake sneaker. He's saying this is the only hype sneaker out of Drake's. I like that. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I say I wouldn't wear it, but I like it. True. Not bad. You know, that's, you know. Like, that's probably the only thing that, you know, I mean, that's probably the only, besides the grapes, that's probably, uh, probably one of the only eights that's, uh, Worth anything in my opinion. Says nineteen bands for those Scooby snacks. That's how much they are. That's how much they want for them. I think that's a different shoe. Oh, no. but sheesh! But I know this is a price that's up there too, man. So let's dive in, man. We've been on for about an hour and sixteen minutes. Let's talk upcoming releases, man. What y'all, what y'all expecting, man? What y'all um looking for this year, or what you trying to get? Well, I know we got some stuff later down the road, but just coming up, what y'all looking at? Uh, man, honestly, I guess say not a lot really dropping, man. Uh, you know, let's say I'm just still gonna try my hand at those uh Cardinals. Uh, the Cardinals, you want the Cardinal threes? Yeah, uh, okay, the citrus, the citrus sevens, you know, I want to try yeah. to go for those. Uh, it's like, I oh, think I'm gonna this try next, uh, this next drop for the union dunks because they got, oh, they got the two new colors two. coming. Yeah, they got two yeah. more colors coming out for those union. Bands. I had those pulled up. Let me see. Yeah, those union. Like dunks. I think they're like the purple pair this time. Oh, you talking about the dunk so Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought it was because they got the Jordan two unions coming, but um. Oh yeah, me, yeah. We, we know let me that. See. When those other dunk unions supposed to come out? Uh no idea. Or some blue. You say you want this purple? Oh wait. No, wait, so wait, this wait, is wait. the next pair uh, that's going to be dropping. The purple pair, yeah. I still those want are nice. those. Uh, I still, yeah, they are. But I still want those flip the old schools. Those dunks flip the old school. Okay. The yeah. one with the, the purple ones with the upside down Nike sign. Let's see. The, no, the, the the fourth pair in the picture you're looking at. Oh, you look at oh. the Jordan shoes. Yeah, I thought you said okay. you wanted Jordan two where you could flip the tongue. No, no, the dunks, the flip the old school dunks. The um, what are you? At? The fourth picture on the top row. No, no, go up one more. Let me see. Scroll back. Uh, one, oh, two, these? Three. Yeah. Yes. I still, I don't know. They're gonna, uh, it's just a unique pair. I don't know. I just want Something special there. about them for you? Yeah. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, let's see what we got in chat. It says, Stinger Girl says, like we said that one. We got um, Antoine in the building. It says, what is the peacock shoe? It's that Jordan one. Um. It's basically just a – we learned that it's a Jordan 1. It was already done as a Jordan 1 mid, though. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much like that Jordan 1 mid. But, see, it's hard to pull it up. you got to almost just show the regular site because when you look at the Bel Air, they show everything else. Mm -hmm. But it's basically oh, – let me get it back on the uh, Cali joint real quick. But yeah, this is the Jordan One Peacock. But I thought I was gonna call it the Jordan One Bel Airs. But let me show y'all real quick. Cut back to the Cali joint. And then what was the colorway they said it was though? That it reminded us of Jordan One Mid. That was like uh, a um, tan gum, tan gum, yeah, tan gum. Yeah. So it's like the it's basically the tan gum. But this is the joint right here, man. See how it didn't got the gum bottom. You know what I'm saying that's the tan gum all the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't, I can't put this on something I'm really looking forward to, but I will say I'm looking forward to the Yeezy blue stripe joints. I may get that, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, but right now, I'm still looking at some stuff on the back end. Really, nothing on the radar that I'm really, really looking for. I'm trying to just scroll through the list on my phone real quick. But um, I don't see nothing. The marinas. Um, what do you think about those dunks that's coming out tomorrow? That sound pretty familiar. Uh, they're okay. <laughs> yeah, but you rather had a Cardinal Threes. Cardinal Threes is nice. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got. I think I'm gonna wait for those University Gold like Bordo joints, the joint ones coming out in a couple. Okay. Like they coming out on 24th, but I think I made the stick with like the Yeezy Blue Stripe joint too. Yeah, something gotcha. like that. But yeah, but that's pretty much all we got, man, for this live, man. Um, yeah, another nice one, man. Another quick hour went by for us for sure, man. We appreciate oh, yeah. everybody for stopping through for sure, man. Um. Y'all be sure to check out our podcast, man. This is the same thing. Like, if you missed it on live, we're going to upload it on the podcast. And, um, yeah, we we check that out. You can search us up as Sold Out Podcast. Um, that's where you can find us on the um, Spotify, Spotify, right? Yeah, yeah, most Spotify, so, thank you. yeah you, that's where you can find us for sure. Kwame says, those dunk highs on sneakers are nice. Um Oh yeah, that's coming out next week. Yeah, I saw that was joined through the list. Yeah, they, they're they're not bad for me at all. Um, but yeah, man, we gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing. Y'all smash the like button. I'm Jeremy Jones, man. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're to the if you're new to the channel, man. And we are gonna be back again on Saturday with some more sneaker content for sure, man. Um, Devin Dunks, take us out, man. Uh, let's say uh, once again, you guys know me. I'm Dev Dunks. Uh, but I do want to uh, give a quick special shout out to, uh, if you guys didn't know, to uh, Tremaine Emery. He's another black designer. Uh, he has the brand Denim Tears. He's now the uh, head over at Supreme for uh, the creative side. So, you know, just a little shout out to another um, black uh, artist, another black, you know, black influencer in the community, you know, that's uh, uh, doing positive things. So just wanted to say that shout out to him. Hopefully he uh, does some good things over at Supreme. Uh, but besides that, yeah, I'm, I'm just, it's me. I'm Dev Dunks. Uh, like Jeremy said, subscribe, uh, follow, uh, check out the podcast. Uh, everything should be up there, up to date. So if you can't view, you can listen, you know. Uh, yeah, but besides that, they got nothing else. Yeah, that's him. Shout out to this brother, man, you know. Most definitely. This is who Devin Dunks is talking about. So Supreme's been kind of quiet for a while, man. So hopefully he can get over there and screw some things up for sure, man. So definitely shout out to him. And uh, I know he was pointing that to me earlier, man. But appreciate everybody coming through, man. Y'all smash the like button, subscribe. And we is out of this joint, man. Peace. Hey, peace.